Hi, everybody. Well, today I'm 62 years old, and um, yeah, and today's day 91 without Wayman by my side. Um, I'm doing okay. Um, not great. Yesterday, actually, the afternoon, evening was really, really hard. Just knowing that uh, my birthday was coming up today and that he wouldn't be here, you know, to celebrate with me. The reality is uh, that he's not here on earth and uh, he's not coming back. Um, at least for now, <laughs> until Christ returns. And then I believe we all will be here. Um in the kingdom, to the new Jerusalem. So, so many thoughts going through my head uh, today. Um, I feel very loved. Uh, so many people have reached out. Um, my son and daughter-in-law and baby granddaughter came and sang happy birthday to me this morning. I've had phone calls uh, from overseas to my son and daughter-in-law overseas. Um, you know, received gifts, uh, just felt so much love and many, 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 many Facebook messages and happy birthdays, um, way more than normal. And I'm very thankful and I feel God guiding me and leading me. Um, I'm very thankful. But there's one, like, well, I don't know if it's just one thing, but something that has been, I guess, that I'll be putting into my journal, um, into this book that I'm writing about my first 100 days of grief, which with today being 91, um, you know, nine more days, I know in nine more days, my grief is not ending. But I felt compelled um, about a week and a half ago on day 79 to have that in the title of this book I'm writing about my grief, um, the hundred days, the first hundred days, really, really hard, like the, the hardest hundred days, today's 91, but I, that I've lived ever. Um, but I'm, yesterday as I was in a deep grief and I knew that I needed to go work out and I immediately, I was crying and even when I was working out, thank you, Vib. Um, yeah, I felt better um, with those endorphins, uh, which is what my daughter-in-law said to me this morning. Like, I felt so much better. And yesterday I was planning on go, go, coming on and doing a video but I didn't. Um, I heard God tell me to, and so today I am. Um, but this place, um, what, what I also heard from God yesterday was to turn to Thanksgiving, to move to a place of Thanksgiving. And so he showed me that this place, this void I have in my life is because of the fullness that was there. And now it's missing. And the fullness of this amazing relationship I had with my husband um, is gone. And so that is why the ache is so great. But yet I have so much, oh, just like the greatest thankfulness in my heart that I did know the fullness of God, of holy matrimony, of what it meant for 35 years to be married to Wayman. Like, I don't have any regrets. And, you know, I don't know if my ache is greater because I had the fullness or if I wouldn't have had such a great marriage that, you know, the ache would not maybe be as great. I don't know. Um, but I know this is the path that, that I was on. And so I'm still contemplating that with God. And I'm so thankful that I have no regrets. I'm so thankful for this amazing fullness that I had in my heart and my relationship with Wayman, where we were one. We were, um, we, 
I mean, we even ate the same food, okay? Like most of the time when we went out <laughs> to eat, we usually ordered the same food. Like we were at one and so much. Um, and the deal about, so that's a deal. When, when that emoji of the broken heart that shows that heart separated, that is what I feel like is that half of my heart is gone. And so the void is really, really big. However, I believe Jesus is helping me, giving me my strength, helping me um, navigate these days and nights of not having Wayman. Um, it honestly feels like today's 91, y'all, without him, it feels like it could have been nine years since he's been gone. Feels like a long, long time ago. Instead of 30 days and 30 days and 30 days and one, you know, instead of three months, it feels like a really, really long time. But I know he is cheering me on. And uh, my pain is really great. And I can't, I'm not hiding it. It's just there. And I had a friend, Sherry, call me last night from Michigan. I mean, from she's in Wisconsin. And she's like, Sarah, it's okay to cry. Like, I miss him so much. And I think the longer it goes, the more I know he's not coming back. And thank y'all for your prayers. Thank you, Cheryl, for your prayers. Cindy, I love you. And I know we share a missing of our friend Donna, who in a way set the pattern for me. Last year when Donna died on June 15th of last year from brain cancer, it was just about three months of knowing she had the cancer. It made me appreciate every day that I had with my man. And so I think that's part of my message of why God has me coming on here with you is to make the most of every day you have with your loved ones, um, to forgive, um, to forgive, <laughs> to forgive and find the places and things that you can be thankful for, um, because we don't know about tomorrow. Yeah. We just don't, y'all. We have today. And uh, we have actually this moment. Like, I think I'm more aware of that than ever of these, um, the precious days we have. And so for day 91, um, you know, I, I laughed. My son and daughter-in-law called me early this morning <clears throat> from Central Asia. It was their night. And... Um, they're like, how are you doing, Mom? I said, you know, I'm really good. But the, here's the deal. Like, I just miss being with your dad. Like, that's what I miss. Like, he usually would even forget that it was my birthday. He just, he didn't make a big deal out of it. And usually in the morning, I would tell him, hey, guess what? Today's April 18th. And he would go, oh, it's your birthday. Happy birthday. And we usually would go out to eat. But it wasn't like... You know, he brought me flowers or, you know, we would usually go out to eat. That was like one thing that we like to do for each other's birthdays. But um, there wasn't gifts. It, it was just the companionship, I think, that I miss. And because of special days that come and then he's not here, that this like brings new pain. And it's okay, you know. It's okay. Uh it's okay to have the pain. You know, it's worth it. The thing is, I uh, I know eternity is my gift too. It's just there's a separation. And I felt like God explained that to me more last weekend, it being Easter weekend, that eternity is mine. There's just a separation of time right now. I don't know how long it's going to be. But because of the greatest gift that God could ever give us this eternal life. And so that means we get to live forever with him. And he tells us it's his greatest joy 
You know, it's why he went to the cross, so that he wouldn't be separated from us. And you can read that in Hebrews 12, too. And that's just brought me a lot of comfort. But the reality is that Wayman is not here with me right now. He's not sleeping in the same bed. I don't have breakfast with him. He didn't bring me my green tea this morning. My son Justin did to bed. Like just a sweet gift. Wayman served me so well for so many years. And then after I retired, I started bringing him his tea to bed because I usually got it before him. And so it was just so cool. Um, yeah, so, yeah, I'm sort of rambling. But um, I just say, y'all, the biggest thing that you can do, and I'm going to say it again, and Cindy repeated it, is forgive freely. Yeah, forgive those that have hurt you. Don't keep record of wrong. Um, because you don't know how much time, and you want to live your life where it is no regrets. And I do believe you need some safe boundaries. I'm not saying that every relationship from your past needs to be where you hang out a lot together or whatever, but you can do the forgiveness with just you and God, actually. Um, and that's really sweet, you know? Um, so I just say, yeah, Lord, we ask that you would show us how we can forgive those that have hurt us, and then we can move into the time of restoration of the broken walls. Um, and I've read so many of y'all's uh, posts, you know, on Facebook or on my Instagram, where people are reconnecting family members or friends with the with the virus and the quarantine. That reconnecting through social media and phone calls and text messages and Zoom, <laughs> FaceTime, and um, different ways. So. Yeah, we have today, y'all, and um, I just, as I was praying this today about what God is going to do in my 62nd year, like I turned 62 today, and you know, I didn't think I'd be a widow at age 62, but I am, and you know, in the first week or so, I couldn't even think about being a widow or saying that, but I am. Um, and that's just the reality, and I'm really okay with it because it's just, this is the reality. <laughs> um, so, yeah, I just want to bless y'all um, with an encouragement to live today so full, um, to just ask God, like, what does he want? What does he want for you to do? you know, today in relationships that could have been broke, that could be broken or that could be improved, you know, <laughs> um, that could be a oneness that, um, is so sweet from God. So I'm very thankful today that, um, I'm going back to what I talked about at the very beginning and then I'll jump off of here that this place, this void I have in my life is because of the fullness of our relationship that half of my heart is gone and so it bleeds with a loneliness that nobody can feel. God has brought me amazing comfort and I feel him so close to me and I feel him defending me. He says he defends the widow and I definitely know that and feel that and the blessings that are coming in to me. But the reality is that my man is gone. And, you know, after why I, I decided on the 100 days for the title of my book that I'm writing on grief, I know it's not going to be over in 100 days. I know I'm still going to be sad and grieving after, in nine more days. But I felt like I felt compelled from God that I need to put something out for the first 100 days. It's really, really hard. It can be a tool to help others. And it's going to have several sections in it. One will be scriptures, and I'm not putting 100 scriptures in there. I think 21 or 30. I don't know. God could give me 42, but somewhere in there, definitely under 50 scriptures. Just the ones that I've been going over and over and over in the first 91 days. Um, and things 
that people have said to me that have helped me. And also a very short list of things that people have said to me that haven't really helped me. And I do know everybody's journey is unique and everybody's grief is different. So I'm not writing the Bible on it. <laughs> and I'm not a psychologist. I'm just going to share my journey, like what it's been like for me. And so many of y'all have been watching me, and so you know. <laughs> and I may be going back and transcribing some of my videos um, just to help me, you know, through these days. Like this is, it is easier today at ni day 91 than it was at day 10 and 15 and 30, you know, it is easier, uh, but it's still really, really hard. And I think this being sequestered with the, because of the virus with my son and daughter-in-law and granddaughter has been a huge blessing for me. And I'm so very thankful for that. So yeah, I, uh, I love y'all. I thank you for your prayers. So many of you have written me today and said specifically you were praying for me. Hey, Jessica in New Jersey. Um, and I do feel God's strength, like that I would keep going, that I could be focused enough. I mean, there's so many things I don't remember from the first 30 days of having conversations. And I'm like, I don't even remember that, you know but my memory is returning a little bit and uh, my focus is returning. And, um, and I think yesterday afternoon when I was grieving so much, I felt like God reminded me to be thankful. Yeah, to be thankful. Thank you, Ashley. I love you. I got, I'm glad I got to meet you <laughs> uh, a few weeks ago in Wimberley. Um, so y'all, Let's hang in there during this time. And I feel like really this time, this holy parentheses of time of being sequestered and separated is going to end soon, which is awesome news. But let's not miss the last week or two or three or whatever it's going to be of what else God would be wanting for us to learn. And I believe it is to repair some broken relationships and to forgive. So, whew, okay, yep. I love y'all, and uh, thank you for bearing with me, and I made it through, and I really hardly ever wear eye makeup anymore. <laughs> There's no reason. It just flows through. So, bye, y'all. I love you, and thank you. I am having a really good birthday um, because I do feel God's love in so many ways, so many ways. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you, Brenda. Yeah. Yeah, I've got um, just reading y'all's messages. So I know I'm loved. I know God uh, made me for such a time as this. And uh, yeah, I've got a lot of life left to live. It's just not going to be with him, but with my man. But it's okay. God has a plan greater than mine so mm, yeah okay I think I've shared enough shed enough <laughs> y'all have a beautiful day wherever you are I love you and uh yeah yeah I didn't yeah I don't really like all the attention Jessica so <laughs> but yeah God's good he's so good okay bye and we're supposed to go driving to look for ripe loquats in our region and our uh, and some of the parking lots of the businesses about 30 minutes away my kids say we the loquats are right but we're gonna go we're gonna go try to pick some so we'll see that's gonna be what we do this afternoon yep okay I love y'all thank you for all the birthday wishes bye